everyone, welcome back to Rolling Solo. My name is Adam Smith, and in this video, we're gonna be kicking off a rolling solo showcase for Marvel United from Cool Mini or Not and Spin Master Games. Without further ado, let's dive right into the setup. I'll take you through each and every step to get you ready to play Marvel United in a solo fashion. Step number one is to place the mission guide in the center of the table and also the three mission cards on the three slots at the bottom of the guide. We have clear threats, rescue civilians, and defeat thugs. Step number two is to choose a villain to face, place the villain dashboard on the slot at the top of the mission guide, and it's recommended in the rule book that you go ahead and choose Red Skull to start with. However, because I have some experience with the game already, I'm actually going to be jumping to Ultron. Next up, it's important to note for setup, the left hand side right here has important information based on the number of characters you will be controlling or the number of players that are involved in the game. So for two players, the health value for Ultron will be four, three is gonna be eight health, four is gonna be 11 health. When playing in the shield solo mode, you're gonna be controlling three heroes. So we're gonna be going based on the middle one here, which means Ultron will start with eight HP. Step number three is to randomly pick six locations from the locations available. These are the locations available inside the base game. And once you've randomly selected your six, you'll place them around the mission guide itself in a pattern that suits you, usually in a circle pattern. But if you're playing solo, it's perfectly fine to just go ahead and place three on one side and three on the other. All right, we got the S.H.I.E.L.D. headquarters up here, Avengers Tower, Times Square, S.H.I.E.L.D. Hill Carrier, Central Park, and Stark Labs. At this point in step number three, we're now going to look at any watermarked spaces on each of the locations for either a civilian or a thug and go ahead and place tokens in each of those positions. And just like that, now all locations have their civilians and thugs placed. Next, go ahead and find the threat cards that relate to the villain that you've chosen, shuffle these, and then go ahead and place one of them at the bottom of each of these locations. Each of the locations now has a villain threat card. Ensure that these are face up, as you can see here. The next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and place a threat token in the bottom left-hand corner of each and every location. With the threat tokens now in place, we're gonna turn our attention to any henchmen or characters that came up on the villain cards once we have them face up on a location. And you'll see we actually have two that have henchmen, the Ultron clones, and you'll see a health rating beside them, so four health for each of these. Both of the Ultron clones now have four health apiece. Step number five speaks to getting all your tokens organized and within easy reach, as I've placed mine just above the mission guide. Step number six is to grab the Villain's Master Plan deck. You'll know you got the right deck because the back of the deck is gonna match the villain you've chosen. You're gonna go ahead and give that a good shuffle and next we're gonna place that deck next to one of the six locations randomly. So in order to do this randomly, I'm gonna go ahead and roll a D6. This is gonna be one, two, three, and we'll start at the top on the right hand side, four, five, and six. Let's see where the dice lands us for this deck. Three, that's gonna place it at Times Square. Next up, we're gonna go ahead and choose the three characters we're gonna bring into this fight. And as you saw from the intro video, it's plainly obvious that Captain America is going to be selected as one of the heroes. The other two, as I have one, two, three, four, five, six other heroes remaining, I'm gonna leave up to chance. We're gonna roll the die and see who else is gonna be joining Captain America to go up against Ultron. Here we go. A three, that is going to be Captain Marvel is gonna be joining Captain America. And next up, six, that will be Black Widow. Now it's important to note in shield solo mode, you're gonna be taking all the character decks you're controlling when playing solo and combining them into a single deck. Don't worry about the fact the backs of the cards are different per character. That doesn't matter. I'll explain how this all works when we move into the playthrough. Now, if you're playing the game with two players and above, you're each gonna be controlling one of the character's decks yourself. It's only in solo mode or shield solo mode that you combine the decks like so. However, the one thing I do need to do right now is shuffle this deck. 
With the character decks all sorted out, we're now going to move over to Times Square, where Ultron is currently located. Using the miniature from the game box, we now have Ultron in Times Square, physically represented with a miniature. Now we need to grab the miniatures for each of the three heroes that we combined their decks together just moments ago. So we're going to bring into play Captain America, Captain Marvel, and Black Widow. For step number seven, we're now going to place all the miniatures we just talked about at a location completely opposite of where the villain is. So the villain being in Times Square, the opposite location would be Stark Labs way up there in the top right. Our heroes are now in place at Stark Labs, and it's worth noting that that wraps up step number seven, as we have already gone ahead and dealt with our deck, merged them together for shield solo mode, shuffled them, and the final step, number eight, is that each player is now gonna draw three cards from the top of their deck into their hand, and at this point is ready to start going after the villain. But in shield solo mode, you're not drawing just three cards, you're actually drawing five. The five cards that I have in hand to begin my play against Ultron is three Black Widow cards, one Captain America, and one Captain Marvel. And I'll talk more about the mechanics of how this is going to work and the card play when we actually get into the playthrough. But you'll see when you're playing solo, you will have advanced knowledge in terms of the card backs as to what cards from which characters will be coming into your hand as you go along. And that's going to do it for the setup of Marvel United. I'm really looking forward to seeing whether Black Widow, Captain Marvel, and Captain America can pull off a victory against Ultron. We'll also talk about win and loss conditions when we move into that playthrough. Hope you'll join me. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, keep on rolling solo.